In this video, we're going to talk about chapter 15, which is the introduction to acids and bases. So chapter 15 is a relatively short chapter, and it's designed to review some of the more important concepts in acid and bases, getting us ready to address um, acid and base equilibrium, which is what we're going to be talking about in chapter 16. So we're going to start off with a review of the Bronsted-Lowry concept. Um, we don't talk about Arrhenius because that was sort of dealt with in chapter four from last semester. So if you don't remember Arrhenius, go back to last semester, chapter four, and take a look at that. Um, and we also don't cover the Lewis acid base um, characteristics at this stage. We, we do that a little bit later on when we get to um, coordination complexes. So uh, we don't cover that just yet. But Bronsted and Lowry is the most important thing at the beginning of of acid and base. So you should read the Lewis section, but you know don't, don't focus too much on it because it's not something we focus on right now. In the second part of the chap in the second part of the chapter we're going to talk about acid and base strength. And so we have to go back to our chart of strong acids and strong bases. And um, that's something that you know you're going to memorize. But we're actually going to learn about um, we're going to learn how to figure out um, why it, or we're going to learn why an, an acid is a strong acid and why a strong base is a strong base. So we're going to see that today. And we're also going to look at acid and base strength in, in terms of a spectrum and be able to figure out what, what acid is stronger than another acid and, and sort of why. And we're going to look at some um, trends in molecular structure and how that relates to acid strength in the third part of the chapter. And then finally, we are going to talk about the autoionization of water, which is where we're going to introduce the concept of pH and pOH. And we're also going to introduce the concept that water in and of itself is in an equilibrium with um, hydroxide and hydronium. And so uh, water does have an acid-base character on its own. Uh, and then when we add acids or bases, it just shifts this equilibrium um, either making more hydronium or more hydroxide. And um, we're going to learn a little bit more about that. Okay, and then the, the last thing we're also going to look at in this chapter is some review of uh, titrations, which we saw in chapter four. On Blackboard, there are a few resources that um, you should be aware of. We have the drill questions on Blackboard. We also have the slides. And um, our already prepped on Blackboard, we have the chapter 15 homework solutions and some solutions to lecture problems one and three. And if you're looking for more resources on acid and base, I would recommend going back to the chapter four review. And uh, you can find that in chapter modules. So if you go to chapter modules and then look in semester one content, and in semester one content, you will find a folder for chapter four, which will have uh, a whole variety of resources. And some things to look at in chapter four that might be helpful to you are the metastasis reactions worksheet and video, uh, most notably the acid base portion of that. Um, and then the solution and concentration lecture problems video, which has a whole number of examples of acid base titrations and just other solution concentration things that may come up in chapter 15. So this is a good resource to kind of go back and review if you are um, a little bit, you know, uh, if you don't remember uh, chapter four very well from last, last semester. 